हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ न्यू सर्विस व्हिच आई एडेड ऑन माय वेबसाइट व्हिच इज बल्क वेबसाइट स्टेटस चेकर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सर्विस यू विल बी एबल टू जस्ट शो व्हिच वेबसाइट इज डाउन व्हिच वेबसाइट इज रनिंग सो मेनी अ टाइम्स यू विल हैव टू चेक मेनी ऑफ द पॉपुलर वेबसाइट्स यूट्यूब इज इट डाउन इज इट अप विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सर्विस यू जस्ट नीड टू जस्ट सबमिट द डोमेन नेम्स पर पर वन डोमेन नेम पर लाइन एंड देन यू कैन क्लिक द गेट डोमेन स्टेटस टू गेट द डोमेन स्टेटस सो लेट सपोज आई राइट द गूगल डॉट कॉम यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम सम ऑफ द पॉपुलर वेबसाइट्स फेसबुक डॉट कॉम एंड लेट सपोज अमेजोन डॉट कॉम सो नाउ इफ यू क्लिक दिस बटन इट विल इंस्टेंटली टेल यू द स्टेटस ऑफ दीज फोर डोमेन्स so now you can see site is running 2000 okay 2000 is the status code as you know in the http so it is perfectly running fine here okay 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 and now if i just write any sort of website which is not okay let's suppose if i once again refresh this page and now let me have a website which is don't exist this is a website here which don't exist here you can see now you can see this website don't exist if i open this website you will see if i go to this you can see error is there the requested url could not be retrieved and now if i run this you will see site is down 500 500 as you know server error and not okay so you will be able to know that the status is down the site website is down or the website is illegal uh, invalid domain Amazon you can see site is running if i go to amazon.com you will see perfectly amazon is working here you can see amazon.com is perfectly working fine so this is a perfect tool guys this is a bulk website status checker it will tell you either the website is running or not if the website is down or not many a times you will have to use this service so the link will be there inside the video description i have given the uh, tool link this is hosted on my website free media tools and apart from that there are various other tools which you can interest it please check out all other tools and share my website and now let me tell you how i made this tool so i made this tool in node js and express as you know my website is hosted in node js and express on my vps server and there is a node js dependency that i found that exactly did this task for me so i just used this node dependency if you just search is dash up now if you search this dependency the first dependency is you can see check it checks whether a website is up or down so if you click this you will see uh this is a fairly new package you will see this is hosted on npmjs.com so npmjs is the directory where all the packages of node are there so you can browse all the packages so if i just show you uh, you can see this is a github repository of this package the users process is pretty simple you just need to require it and then it exist a function here which here you need to pass the url and then it will return a boolean value either true or false whether the domain is active or not and you just need to install this by executing this command npm install is up i have also given the step by step instruction inside my blog here also given in the video description so go go to my blog to download all the source code you can see all the step by step instruction is given so you can even make this service on your website also so many people will use this website uh, website uh, will use this tool so you will get all the traffic so just go to the video description go to the blog and download all the source code and uh, let me just show you a short demo which i created here so you can see this is my node js project and the first thing you need to do is that you need to import this dependency which is is up after requiring it after installing it so you can see is up is up so after you require it you need to wrap this inside a async function so async and uh, this will be a, a arrow function and we need to call this function also like this so inside this await keyword we will write is up and here we will pass the url 
let's suppose i want to check for google.com so i will pass http google.com so https is very much important you need to write this inside your url so if you don't write it your domain will be invalid so now we can run this application you can see await is only valid in async functions so i think i haven't put this keyword right so so it just needs to be a function so we need to put it a set of curl parentheses so you can see require is not a function so why it is not showing so what is the problem let me just paste this function guys let me paste this code all the source code will be given so don't worry let me paste it you can see now if i check the console you will see true will be returned you can see it is uh, google.com is perfectly sorry this is a different domain if i change this to google now again you will see true is returned now if i change this to invalid website let's suppose this website doesn't exist so then it will return false value you can see false is returned so depending upon which boolean value is returned true or false you can just make your own status message and show to the user if the domain is active or not so all the source code will be there inside the video description you can download the source code and a free demo of the tool is also given in the video description so just use this tool this is a bulk tool here you can just submit multiple domain names and then you can click the button get domain status and it will tell you the domain status of each domain so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial